distance running has been the story of the evening. A case in point, the men's 10,000 meters. You won't believe what happened. Here's how Larry and I called it. A lap and a half to go in the men's 10,000 meters. 23 laps ago, there were 31 men with an equal shot at victory. Now there is one. His name is Paul Turgot, and he is on record pace. They set up this rabbiting so that they would be going by the first mile in 4 minutes and 16 seconds. The approximate pace of Haile Gabriel Selassie in Oslo earlier this year that you saw on ESPN when he set the existing world mark. They passed by the 3,200 meters in 8 minutes and 33 seconds. And the pace continued right along. Turgut took over with about a mile and a half to go. And he has been increasing the tempo, Bob. The place has been standing for the last two miles of this race. Final lap for Paul Turgut. And you heard the PA announcer. He needs a 63-second 400-meter lap in order to claim the world record. This is a man who the first 20 years of his life, and he's 26 years of age now, never ran at all. He's six feet tall, 134 pounds, was a basketball player first, within a year of running in 1991, was beating world-class Kenyans. Consider that Haile Gebre Selassie came into the evening as world record holder at both 5,000 and 10,000 meters. He has already lost the 5,000 meter record. He could well be swept clean here tonight. That's very true. The 10,000 meters definitely in jeopardy. He's picking up his tempo a little bit. I can tell by the leg turn over here. The back stretch was not fast, but he is definitely running much faster here. There's about 70 meters to go. The world record may fall. 25, 26, he may break 26, 30, and he does! 26, 27, 85, unbelievable! Unofficially, the last mile in four minutes and nine seconds. Absolutely amazing. This man deserves a lot of credit. He's been the shadow of Daniel Coleman and Gabriel Selassie. He is the world cross-country champion beat every star you can imagine at that one, and he has been getting better and better by leaps and bounds every year, has Paul Turgut. What an evening of track and field. Larry, your final thoughts. World records, two more of them hit the charts. It's a magnificent evening. I hope someday American track and field can get to the level that you see it in these European Golden Four meets.